love football, you want to teach it to your guys. I think it's really important as a staff that you see the game the same way. So we, we have four base components of the game that we like to talk about, four situations that we like to talk about. And the first one, sort of the openers. You know, the, I, I, I liken it to volleys and drives, you know. On offense, how are we going to establish ourselves in those openers? Are we, are we going to go out there and probe? Are we going to get in five, six, seven, eight, nine formations in the first plays? Are we, are we going to try to get the quarterback off to a hot start? Are we going to put the ball in our playmaker's hands? Like, I think those things are really, really important for us and teaching that to our guys. Again, we are not a start-fast organization. We're not going to tell our guys, hey, let's go out there and run them off the field because we believe the game is won in the fourth quarter. We believe championships are won at the end of the season. So we are going to be a body blows team. We're just going to keep throwing body blows and try to, try to win on a decision in the last round of, of, of the fight. But to do that, we've got to come out, we've got to have a great open. I think more important probably is on defense. We're playing Cliff Kingsbury. Hey, guys, just withstand the tempo. Withstand the formations. Guys, withstand the trick plays. He's going to give it to us in the openers. Like, don't just give him a cut up. Don't, if we give our guys cut up, they, they just watch the player they're going against. I can block him. Like, how are they going to attack you to start the game? Because there's nothing worse than being unprepared for something. Coop and I got on a flight yesterday. It was a four-hour flight. And about halfway through, we were talking about, like, pacing ourselves. Like, if they told me that was an hour flight and about three hours in, I'd be really nervous. But because I knew it was a four-hour flight, I was fine. Got about an hour left. When you get into a game and the pace is too fast and you're not ready for the openers, you're not ready for the start of the game, you start to hyperventilate, you start to panic. And once you panic, you're done. Once doubt sets in, you're done. We want our guys to know that this is a four-quarter race and that we're going to work our way through the game. Here's what to expect in the opener. See how we'll handle it. Number two, guys, middle eight. We preach it. I expect our guys screaming it on the sidelines. The last four minutes of the, uh, of the first half, the first four minutes of the second half, I want our guys locked in in those moments. I want them understanding that we will end with the football at every half. And we will defer and try to take the football to start the second half. Like, Coach, why aren't we taking the ball? Don't, aren't you aggressive? Don't you believe in us on offense? No, I want the ball to start the second half, bro. This is how we play football here. And on offense, like, there's two minutes left. We have the ball. The guys want to go down and score. And Coach called inside zone. Why? Because at the end of the day, we're going to get one first down and make sure that we don't punt the ball to end the half. They've got to understand the game, not just the things around it. A fundamental component of us is that we believe the